Now to another one you'll see only on CBS 46. A two-year-old little girl inside Coweta County is now facing the fight of her young life. She has an extremely rare form of ovarian cancer. Tonight, the girl's family giving us an up-close and personal look at her battle, taking us along as she undergoes treatments and showing us how the community is also stepping in to help. Here's our Adam Harding along with photojournalist Aaron Coker. Eight-year-old Jamie has gotten pretty good at folding paper airplanes. He's been selling them from his driveway. But airplanes, planes for sale, 50 cents. Also, he could raise money. So we have to play the racing game. For a little girl he never met. Two-year-old McKenna Shea. She doesn't know how to. Better known as Ken. Actually, Kenny's playing. Would rather play games with her two big brothers. <laughs> Instead today, it's time for a haircut. No more ouchies. The first sign her cancer She's a princess. has crept in. She doesn't know that she has cancer. Mm. Um, the bigger part is explaining it to her brothers. They're six and four and they're watching their, well, almost six and four, watching their sister go through this. Um, or having to explain to them why her, she had to get her hair shaved and why she can't play with them all the time. Kenny is in the middle of eight rounds of chemo. What are you watching today? Are you watching Moana? <laughs> the nurses at the hospital have learned her routines by now. All right, my dear. Do you got a tubi hiding there somewhere? And she's learned theirs. There. Medicine, Medicine that's, right. that's right. All mom and dad can do we just take it is sit by her side. One day at a time. Kenny has a rare form of ovarian cancer. It's almost unheard of in children this young. It is so rare, though, that what we've had to do is reach out to other people in the country and other people around the world to study it adequately. Her family never saw this diagnosis coming. She had a stomach ache around Valentine's Day. Within a week, her treatments were beginning. It was heartbreaking at the time. It was, how, how does she have a tumor? Like, where did it come from? When? How long has it been there? All those how questions. How does this happen? Like, yeah. And you never expect it to happen to you or your baby. Yeah. Megan Zidius and her husband, Michael, are now left with the impossible task of explaining cancer ah, to a two-year-old. They're holding it together, struggling at times. Our world got completely turned upside down. Here. But they're here for Look. Kenny. Isn't she beautiful? Looks good. Um, the burden's on us instead of her, which is at least if we can't have it instead of her, at least we can try and shoulder some of that for her. Yeah. And they are far from alone in this fight. Who will help them feel better. Just ask little Jamie, who raised about $20 to show he's here too. And he finally met the little girl he so badly wanted to help. Friendship and support in the worst of times. In Coweta County, I'm Adam Harding, CBS 46 News.